Oh, dude, I'm really, really, really high now. I'm not even this high. I realize I'm always so busy that I never even take a moment to just take a breath and look up and enjoy the last bit of the fall. Industry so ready production. ESB.com. Make your purchase now. Now. Break. What up, Justin Norris? What's up? You're in the next episode. <laughs> Actually, you're in this episode. What's going on? Justin Norris is a good guy. I'm a fucking boss, bro. You should, uh. There's a difference. You do your breakdance thing where you stand on your head. <laughs> we'll do the robot. We're gonna do the robot and then I'm gonna put music to it. And we're gonna do breakdancing. <laughs> we're really gonna do this. So keep watching. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, so exactly. we're. We're going to lunch right now in Michigan. Oakland County is like one of the ritziest counties in the country. But that's the point is they have this huge, crazy three-story mall called Somerset Mall. If you ever come to Michigan, you gotta check this place out. It happens to be right down the street from the property we're doing a fall cleanup at. So we're gonna go there for lunch and I'm gonna show you the inside of the mall. So we're pulling in here right now. And the, the mall is so big, there's one half on each side of the expressway in a bridge with a, a, a what is it it's like a like a people move skywalk a skywalk that right makes there. you walk like 10 miles an hour so there's one half here's the other and no i'm not paying for no valet parking so we can go get lunch yeah buddy look at that dude Look at that machine. Ah, those are cool. I love those. Property maintenance. 
toys, more toys, and more toys. There's constant construction in Michigan. What is this guy got the Billy Goat Leaf Sucker vacuum? That's pretty sweet. They work uh, not on bulk leaves, but they work pretty good. I want to get a good glimpse of that. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Why you videotape me? Keep us up. Dude, the Mexicans are awesome. I love those guys. They fucking those guys can outwork anybody. Times ten. Times ten. They don't feel pain. They're like robots. <laughs> they don't feel pain. They don't. They don't complain at all. Period. I wish uh, I got to work around a bunch of cool Mexican guys, at landscape companies, and uh, I wish I could speak Spanish so bad because sometimes I don't know what they're saying. I'm like, are they talking shit about me? But they're cool. Definitely good people. Dude, this place is packed. You know why I say recession, my ass? Because I know it's Friday at noon. This mall has more parking than any other mall. It's packed to the brim and I had to go all the way to the outskirts and park. Whenever uh, there ain't no place to park, I just go all the way to the back, I don't care. My wife will be like, no, I don't wanna, why are you parking all the way back there? I have to walk. We're gonna walk around the mall for an hour anyways. So, you know, it doesn't matter. It actually saves time if you just park far away and walk instead of driving up and down like a sheep. I don't do that. All right, I'm gonna show you the inside of this place. It's cool. Hey, El, we, uh, we got kicked out of here when we were like 15, remember? We went to the mall and <laughs> our buddy Joe was spitting off the three stories down at the fountain and the security came and kicked us out. I don't know what we were thinking, but it was funny when you were 14, I guess. Yeah, buddy. We gotta go all the way to the third floor. I don't like this man. Why? One. This is the second story. They'll kick you out if they catch you videotaping, so I gotta be discreet. Alright, three. Look at this mall. This is like shopping heaven for uh, the wives, and it's expensive too. We come here, we're in this area, because the food court is huge. Lots of health food, yummy. Look at all this health food. Yummy. What kind of cheese? Uh, blue cheese. Healthy. $7.95. Thank you. There you go. No, it was only like uh, $7.25 or $8.25. No meat. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, around the house we went vegetarian. Besides the fish, I haven't had meat in six weeks now. So I've been doing like organic vegetable based protein shakes. And the only meat I eat is fish. Nothing deep fried, nothing breaded, no fast food, no pop. I eat super clean. And so we're eating like all organic, organic groceries, lots of salads, uh, fruits, nuts, seeds, berries, legumes, juicing, raw green vegetables. And at first I started feeling real crappy, like lethargic for a couple weeks. And then I realized through some research is that I was just going through detox and now I feel so clean and I think it'd be crazy not eating meat, not getting protein, but I do eat plenty of fish and so I don't know, give it a shot sometimes. I don't know how we're doing it, but it seems to be working out for me. Alright, we're all doing lunch. Leaving the mall. Go back to this fall cleanup. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, buddy. Bye. I'm in Harbor Freight right now, and I literally have this paralyzing sickness. I come in to get, I need like a rake tarp and some bungees, and then I start walking down the aisle and seeing all these things, and I just start, my imagination goes wild. And now I'm like, I could do this, and I could do that, and I could do this, and I could do that. 
And all my imagination is running wild with me. I'm like, wait a second. I could take this clothesline and hook it to a pulley with a counterweight and hook it up between two trees and suspend my camera to it and have my camera run along like a movie. But would I use this kind of rope or this kind of rope? This kind of rope or this kind of rope? Maybe I'll just put them all in my basket and then I'll go look at all the different pulleys. Oh my God, oh my God. Rich people in Bloomfield. at uh, this awesome Arabic restaurant. Who says eating vegetarian can't be delicious? Is that good lentil soup? Mm -hmm. I love the camera on this phone. Arabic food is delicious. Don't eat fast food. Bad for you. That's hummus and lentil soup, batouche, and garlic. Oh. I want a Raptors Revenge roller coaster. Yeah, so we're getting cat litter, mouthwash, cat food, fabric softener. And a new bed for Oliver. He's going to be excited when we get home. <clears throat> What's up, guys? This is how you make 85 bucks in 15 minutes. You gotta grab your extension trimmers, your extensions, and you trim the crab apple tree. So before this job, I just took down two tiny little trees, cut them down, chopped them up, threw them in the truck, 25 minutes and made 125 bucks. So, you know, I don't do lawns anymore because I'd rather just do stuff like this. It's a lot more quicker and I don't have big $10,000 lawnmowers I have to pay for in maintenance. I'm just trimming up stuff. It's more artistic, it's more expensive, it's more specialized. But it's just, it's just I don't know, I just, my preference. Don't be asking me, how come you don't lay a tarp down around the tree to catch everything, you morons? You don't have to clean it up. Listen, I'm looking up the whole time. I don't want to be tripping on a tarp and falling on my face. I've tried it. it. It doesn't work. Unless you're walking around with your feet like, it just doesn't work. It's, I trip on the tarp, trip, knock over land. I'm not even going to explain myself. So, it's like I could show you a video. I know I sound like a dick, but. You know, I'll, I'll show a video where I'm creating value. Say, hey, check this out. And then someone will be like, you know, it's like you write an article that's great and it adds a lot of value to people's lives and someone's like, oh, you misspelled the word, you're, you're a retard. Okay, well then, that person's just doesn't get it. They never made a statue.
see that? Trim up the tree, 10 minutes, five minutes to pick up the sticks. Customer gave me their debit card number to my merchant account, 85 bucks, 15 minutes in and out. Very quick. I don't make great money every day. Some, I mean, so I make a grand a day sometimes. Sometimes I work uh, an entire day and screw up and make like 70 bucks all day. So if it was all peaches and cream, you know, but whatever. All right. Nice little bonfire. Keeps the spirit warm. Don't ever put that on, on don't videotape me. Don't ever put that on YouTube. Wife, ever. wife, it's the wife. You guys are getting me out of here. Going to Chicago. What's up? So I'm downtown right now on the downtown. streets of Chicago. Music. 